Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's Momo Makeup here. Today I'm going to be doing something different that I've never done before. It is a fragrance review. Funny thing is, I got these three perfume samples from Flower Beauty in the mail. And when I saw this package, I was like, oh shit. Like anyone who does YouTube videos um, knows that if you ever get anything in the mail that you did not order, you automatically think oh my god I got free PR and I was really hype and then I opened the package and realized that this is something that I signed up to review so I'm gonna test these three fragrances out and let you guys know what I think if you're interested to hear what I have to say about the flower beauty pretty deadly collection then keep on watching <music> Okay, so like I mentioned, these were sent to me from Flower Beauty. They came in this cute little green package. Obviously, they were in a bubble wrap package in the mail. They sent me three scents to review. These are from their brand new Pretty Deadly collection. I want to just show you guys. It doesn't have an actual ounce count on the bottle. I just want to show you a perfume sample that you get from Sephora or Ulta in comparison to this. So here is the perfume sample from Flower Beauty and then here is a Sephora J'adore Dior perfume sample. So they definitely hooked it up so I'm very excited about that. These each retail for $20 on their website and you do get 1.7 fluid ounces worth of product in each perfume. They also have body spray options and those cost $10 a piece. Now before I sample these perfumes, I want to share with you guys what I'm into right now. I'm so bad with explaining what is in a perfume or even knowing what's in a perfume. So I just want to give you guys an idea of my aesthetic as far as fragrance goes. So I love two perfumes from Philosophy. The first one is the Pure Grace and then I also love the Amazing Grace Ballet Rose. And then as far as body sprays go, I love Amber Romance from Victoria's Secret and also Dream Angel's Heavenly Perfume. So if any of you guys know what those scents smell like, then you have a better understanding of what I like. Okay, let's get down to the nitty gritty. So they sent me, along with these perfumes, a description of each perfume. So the first one that I'm going to try out is called Jasmine Venom and it is described by Flower Beauty as a seductive plum and dark cherry vanilla mingle with black jasmine and exotic cedarwood to create this tempting tonic. So let's see, I have not opened these. I thought I'm just going to do it for the review and give you my honest thoughts about these. Oh, that smells... That smells good. It almost smells... Almost has like a baby powder. Hold on, let me spray it. This reminds me of something from like Bath and Body Works. But it, good, it's good. It's really good. I like it. I, like I said before, I'm so bad. I don't know what to get. Okay, I read the description, so that's as good as it's going to get as far as describing what it smells like. But it's a pleasant smell. I like it. It's good. I really do like it. And I and I have a very sensitive like I I I've never actually even used this sample from Sephora because those types of heavy perfumes I can't I get like an instant headache. The next one I'm going to try out is called Lethal Oleander. And this is described as an intoxicating white oleander, orange blossom and monoi flower blend with addictive warm coconut to create an alluring scent that is truly lethal. I thought that this whole design behind this scent collection was really cute, the Pretty Deadly collection, and um, I thought that was cute, all the names that they gave for the scents. So let's smell this. Mm, I don't think I'm going to like this. I'm going to spray it. So personally, not for me. I don't smell any type, I mean, unless orange blossom has a different scent than, like, an orange. I don't smell any orange. And I don't really smell coconut either. It's, it's, it's a good smell, but it's not, for me, it's not, like, something that I enjoy. The last scent that I'm going to give you my thoughts on is called Narcissus Fatale. 
It is described as a magnetic black narcissist. Ripe blackberry and luscious whipped vanilla create a hypnotic elixir that is almost forbidden. So I actually had to Google what a narcissist flower is, and it's actually a daffodil type flower. Or, or it is a daffodil, I don't know. Like I Googled narcissist and photos of daffodils came up. So I think it could just be another name for a daffodil. Um, anyway, so... Oh, I like this one. I like this one a lot. I can definitely smell the blackberry and the vanilla a little bit. It smells really good. I like this one a lot. The only one I really did not care for was the lethal oleander, the blue one. But honestly, guys, as far as scents go, like everybody has such a different opinion and different like triggers as far as scents go for things they like things they don't like for me honestly all three of these smelled okay it's just that i really really liked the jasmine and the narcissist fatale i did not like the lethal oleander if i'm just being honest but um let me know in the comments below if you guys want me to do more fragrance reviews um i don't really purchase fragrances often however i would definitely be willing to if that's something that you guys are interested in I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment down below, and I will see you on the next video. Bye guys!